hello everyone welcome to another new video on my channel so in today's video we are going to be learning how to make this poster so without wasting any time let's get started so for the first part of the video we need to make clean layer cutouts if you have photoshop 2021 or above then then the quick select tool is very good if you just click on select subject it will make a clean cutout otherwise you have to make a manual cutout or you have to use pen tool which is very hectic but like for this video i'll be using the select subject tool of adobe photoshop 2021 and i will be saving all the pictures as psd the reason for saving as psd is later on if i want i can bring them up and make adjustments to the cutouts Now we are taking a 2000 into 2000 composition and this will be our background. Now we will be bringing down the player pictures. Next we will be applying a gradient map to the background. So to speed the process up, I am just arranging the pictures where I want them to be. Now we will be putting a gradient at the bottom to make something like of a disappearing effect at the bottom and also we will be putting the text later on in this video over there. Now we will be creating a layer mask and taking a soft brush and painting with black to remove the bottom side of the player pictures to make sort of like a fading effect. Now these are some glow particles which we can add for some glow effect at the bottom of the composition. I will be changing the blending mode to screen to bring the shining effect and then I will be giving a purple clipping mask to change the color to purple and also a purple outer glow. Next we will be applying a solid color, doing a clipping mask on the player and changing the blending mode to soft light to bring sort of like a purple 
color tone or theme to the player pictures so that they look they match with the background now we will be bringing down the logo Now the next part we will be using the camera raw filter and making adjustment to all the player pictures. I will be speeding up this process because this can take a lot of time. So the main motto here is to bring sort of like a popping effect on the player's skin can be achieved by cranking up the clarity and also making some adjustments with the highlights and the shadows. So as you do you will understand how it is done. The next part we will be adding the text to the image. It is a very simple part so you can just follow along how I am adding them. Now this is a very important part, I am making a copy of the players folder and I will be converting it to a smart object.
then i will be changing the color of the layer to purple solid purple then i'm going to again create a smart object and i'll go to filter and create a blur of 50 or around something whichever looks good this will create a subtle glow behind the player's head sort of like an aura and we will change the blending mode to screen or linear dodge whichever looks better to your eyes both screen and linear dodge will create sort of like a glowing effect here you are taking a soft brush and painting on the player's head and changing the blending mode to linear dodge and we are getting sort of like a glow effect on the players so whenever you need a glowing or shining effect always change the blending mode to screen or color dodge that would help Now we are left with some minor adjustments, we will be adding the PMGC logo. Followed by the PUBG logo. The next part is adding the player names. So I will be creating a small white rectangle and putting the names on it I will not be providing any template for design because this is something that you cannot do from a template you have to make it individually for every player or every team you design so this is not a template which will be useful so I would like everyone to try your own design make something like this on your own and do post it on Instagram and tag me It takes a long time to make such videos so please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like the video to keep us motivated to make more of such videos. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.